Oh, interesting. Oh! Hold up Celestial Dial. See, when uh, I went up here, I thought those were just blood stains. Maybe Jura might like you better now that you look like a beast, maybe. Uh, did you see the lake rune on the clock? I did not recognize that, but someone did mention that uh, there was a rune there. <laughs> Hello, DFH. What? Look at this. That is crazy. Beast Claw L2, yes. That's like a beast rock. You don't even need the, the tool. That's cool. DLC, I'm telling ya. I'm telling ya. DFH, you see our characters uh, looking pretty good. <laughs> Just so FYI, watch your footing because there's a bottomless, bottomless pits under the water, okay? I'm assuming, yeah, right there. It's like a mana, kind of. This is so eerie. I thought just now, what the hell did I miss? <laughs> yeah, nowhere near as annoying, I can tell that already. Uh, that would be the coolest thing. Zombie. What is this? Oh, it's more of those seashell things. Like the seashell thing that, that fell in front of us. Look in the water. Yeah, it's Yarnum. It's not even a reflection. It's similar to just in the topsy-turvy nature of it. It's very similar to uh, the oh, and more ships, more ships, just like in uh, the Nightmare Frontier. Well, we're pretty high above it. If that's the top of the clock tower, yeah. Um, but it's just like how when you descend into the Moonside Lake, you are, like, th this is a, another perfect analog. Yeah, just like, yeah, exactly, just like when we jump into the Moonside Lake. Oh, DFH, I would never judge you even if I did think you were a slacker, it's all good. That's pretty crazy, just like Moonside Lake. Black and blood, blasphemous murders, blood crazed fiends. Atonement for the wretches by the wrath of Mother Goss. Mercy for the poor wizard child. Mercy. Oh, please. Mercy. 
mercy for the poor wizened child. Mercy? Oh, please. That's kind of heartbreaking. And then was blasphemy. Mercy, mercy. Atonement for the wretches. Lay the curse of blood upon them and their children and their children's children forevermore. Each wretched birth will plunge each child into a lifetime of misery. <sighs> Mercy for the poor wizened child. Let the pungence of cost cling like a mother's devotion. <laughs> I wonder if it's it's because I have zero insight, maybe. Atonement lay the curse of Eden. That's really interesting. Yeah, easily game of the year. Hello, Bang gun was. guns of the hell gas. Blasphemous blood. Mercy for the poor was the child. Mercy. So this is a funeral oh, ceremony, right? Where they send the body down the river, and they cremate it. Interesting. Okay, sorry. Yes, mercy. I will have mercy. I almost fell off there. Ah, uh, so. These same eye looking things. Atonement for the wretches by the wrath of Mother Cos. Mercy. Those look like eyes, but I don't think they are. Mercy. It's like a fungus or something? It's everywhere. Burnin was. Dragon Mud. Blasphemous murders. Blood crazed fiends. Atonement for the wretches by the wrath of Mother Cos. Barnacles, barnacles. Mercy. Thank for you. The poor was the child. Mercy. Fishing hammer. Please. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this you can also find in the Chalice Dungeons. Blasphemous murders, blood crazed fiends. That like skeleton thing there. This is crazy. Like this is nuts. I don't want it to end because if the Valley Hamlet. That's right, Sayin. So are we in a representation of? Old the Arnhem right now then? Parasites? 
Those look like silverfish. Although I don't think silverfish are actually silverfish. Sarah has the best dogs. Oh no. Oh, I see them. Oh, this is not good. More dogs. Ah, sea, uh, like sea lice, kind of. Jumping attack with this is the best. They have any distance. I'm Australian, nothing in Bloodborne is as terrifying as our actual wildlife. <laughs> I've lived in a big city my whole life, so. Pretty sheltered when it comes to that stuff. Although I, you know, I've been camping and stuff, but so these are very different enemies than just about everything else we've seen in the game. They look almost amphibian. They have fins almost. It's terrifying thing <laughs> is tiny spiders. Well, hello, braid up. That looks like a good blood gem. No, -uh, that's not great. They bleed white. Are they kin? I don't know if they're kin or not. They look, yeah, they certainly look amphibian. Whoa. Uh, I guess we're in New Londo Ruins again. <laughs> or the catacombs. I love the Moonlight Sword. What's the scaling on the Moonlight Sword? It's strength and uh, I only have it at plus 9, but at plus 9 it's B in strength, C in dex, and A in arcane. Australia, where a majority of wildlife is poisonous and can kill you in a day without anti-venom treatments. <laughs> That's uh, pretty crazy. What are we looking at here? A lantern. Yeah, and apparently they fixed uh, arcane bubble pop when, when they fur? What? <laughs> Sounds about right. Bubble pop when they die. You mean is there a sound? Oh. Should I not have killed them? They're kin because my gems that have uh, attack down. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. I suppose that's a, that's a really good way of testing it. Oh no! Oh no! This guy's like an undead giant, but worse.
Given the similarities to the shadow over Innismouth, I wonder if the crown does anything. It's the worst parts of Undead Giants and Abridus yet, since the old one priest in that story wore a golden crown. Interesting. You mean the, the Crown of Illusions? I don't believe I have it anymore. These guys can be backstabbed, I believe, and, and I imagine they can probably be parried as well. He certainly does hit like a truck. Some very nice blood gems here. Yeah, for some reason I doubt there will ever be a use for the Yarnum Stone. Unless they've explicitly said that there's going to be a use for it. Oh, that's it? Really? There be a lot of barnacles. A lot of barnacles. Hi, friends. Hope oh, none of you guys have fire attacks. <laughs> yeah. Very clever. Whoa, this guy's got a cannon for an arm. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just do this. <laughs> He's got it. I mean, there are lore implications in the description design, but it doesn't actually do anything useful as an item. The Yarnum Stone, yeah. Whoa. It's more of like a, a trophy of honor, really, that you made, made it all the way through the story Chalice Dungeons. Badge of honor, I should say. Okay, Doctor... Doctor Oxy. Like the weapon bosses in Final Fantasy VII? Final Fantasy VII was the only uh, Final Fantasy game that I tried to get, like, 100% in. I don't know if I ever did, but I'm sure I came pretty close. Putting the weapon bosses, some of them are so annoying. Best time for a new playthrough visit, uh, figured about Yahar Ghoul time. Uh, I think once you get... Ooh. I'm gonna need that gem. Uh, I would say once you get a weapon to plus seven, you you should be fine through the first section. But then for the the last couple of sections, around the time when you should have a weapon almost fully upgraded, that's how I look at it in terms of the scarcity of the upgrade materials. The weapons in the earlier game drop an item that's just called proof of yeah yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So that's pretty much the Arnhem Stone. <laughs> Alright, someone said I need to go down the well. How can I go down the well? Oh, there's a ladder. I totally missed that. Oh, more. What are those things? Oh, Winter Lanterns. What the f- Oh, same guy. Oh. oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. <sighs> 2.0. Hello, dead existence. Fishmen from One Piece? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh. First time I went down that well through the big reveal, I was going to be those fish people were the ones singing, but no. I'm assuming there's just a winter lantern around the corner, but I suppose we shall see. Yeah, this the this last boss I had the name spoiled for me. Uh, while refreshing my subscription feed on YouTube, 
So that was unfortunate. I suppose I shouldn't have refreshed it, but... Part of the reason why... I wanted to make sure that I at least gave it a shot of trying to finish it tonight so that I would avoid further spoilers. Bye, friend! Oh, okay, interesting. No, I didn't see it. <sighs> this is the Moonlight Great Sword. The Holy Moonlight Sword, as it's called in this game. You're very annoying. Very, very annoying. It does, dead existence. Here, I'll show you. Uh, I have it to plus 9, so the scaling might improve further uh, when you upgrade it to plus 10. But it's a, a B in strength with a 16 requirement, uh, 12 required for skill, C scaling, 14 arcane, and A scaling. And the doll's sort of half half because I was connecting her with the file blood, so I guess I'm even. Yeah. <laughs> Who, who, who is your theory for Lawrence again? Were you uh, partial to the bloodletting beast theory of the the parasite? I don't think you should go. I, I need to kill that enemy. I can't wait to see uh, Richard's videos either. Richard, you were saying you you uh, recorded it like LP style. Yeah, I, I, I was partial to that idea. Well, any piece one as well. This guy's not so bad as long as you don't let him... What? What? Did a second guy just come out of him? Guys, man, you heard me. Sounds are so well designed, apart from being really aggravated to fight. That's what I was thinking as well, 2.0. It's like basically the same animation. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're vulnerable to sham and bone blades. In fact, it works wonders. Interesting. Rakuyo. That better that's not Maria's. It is Maria's wife. Perfect time for the Winter Lantern to be singing. Hunter weapon wielded by Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. A trick sword originating in the same or a, a trick sword originated in the same country as the Kanehurst Chikage. Only this sword feeds non-off blood, but instead demands great dexterity. 
Lady Maria was fond of this aspect of the Rikuyo, as she frowned upon blood blades, despite being a distant relative of the Queen. But one day she abandoned her beloved Rikuyo, casting it into a dark well, when she could stomach its presence no longer. Uh... The snail people who, like... Hello, Defolic. It's nice to meet you as well, friend. That's pretty cool. No, it's it's all right. It's. So it's kind of underwhelming, but still pretty awesome. She couldn't stand the sight of it any longer. I guess, maybe similar reasons to Jura? In that, you know, you eventually just... The hunt wears on him. That is so cool looking. Okay, I want to find that Winter Lantern. I think she might have been involved in the sacking of, uh, oh. Maybe she cast it aside because of his connection to Kanehurst. How do you get bow? I'm not sure, NBA 950. I don't know if it's that her boyfriend broke up with her. All right, that's pretty cool. I wish I had, like, infinite uh, shards and chunks. Okay, I'm imagining that the Winter Lantern is probably over there. Oops. My current feeling on Maria is that she renounced her status as a hunter because of some horrible crime and then became Lady Maria, who looks after the sick as a kind of penance. So again, similar to Jura. Uh, Jura was kind of protecting the beast of Old Dearnum as a uh, kind of a self-imposed penance. Ah. Oh, hey friends, I forgot about you. Sorry that I left you hanging. Oh, that's not good, I'm dead. I'm dead. Still at the Cathedral Ward, the Hunter's Nightmare. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, NBA. I've not yet acquired the bow, so I can't tell you. Oops. I'm sure if you go to reddit.com slash r slash bloodborne, there will likely be a thread on it somewhere. Bloodborne subreddit. It's an excellent go-to resource for those types of things. Sir. Whoa. I guess I could uh, run thought this place if I knew where I was going. Sorry that we can't help you, NBA. If I knew, I would, I would tell you without hesitation. Hello, Abava. Uh, we are trying to figure that out. 
Or at least something we've been discussing. It's an interesting way of describing them, though. Coral monsters, I like that. Improvised beast claws. They got too salty. <laughs> Mayhaps. You can see that different ones have different amounts um, different amounts of coral. Well, some of them are are uh, they just hang around the. Uh, this one's got a whole bunch of spears on its back. Whoa. That is very, very weird. Did they actually turn out to the real world is just a nightmare's representation? Well, the nightmare is a real place, but yeah. This part I haven't, like, I, I'm still trying to figure out how, how this one, this aspect of it works. But uh, how Richard put it, which I found very helpful, is that nightmares are shaped in part by the consciousnesses in them. So this part of the nightmare could very well have been formed after the main part, perhaps? Oh, I can't parry. So it could be that, yeah, Hello again, Strife Cross. Enemies here are like none other in the game or in the DLC. Like, this is crazy. Uh, really nothing but glowing things to say. Both this area and the DLC in general. Gosh, will you stop that, please? Please? Just hurt? Pretty much. Oh, we actually need to do that. Oh, hi, friend. Thought I dodged that. No, oh, definitely didn't dodge that. Oh, I'm dead. I have gone in the well, Silent Hill. Got a very interesting weapon. Very interesting weapon. Sorry about that. Yes, I have gone in the well. And we picked up the Rakuyo, which is an incredibly cool weapon. Doesn't have the same. Your Moonlight Sword is strong. Uh, no, not really an arcane build, more of a quality build. Uh, but I have some good blood gems in it, so I'm getting over 500. Getting precisely 584 actually. Pretty good. I wonder if it transforms if it changes. No, still 584. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Let's see if I can run by some of the enemies. Bye friends. Definitely gonna take you out. King Roxas, uh, Richard Pillbeam's suggestion, I think is very uh, apt, and that is, think of the, there are basically three, three difficulty levels in the DLC, wow, there are a lot of them, I'm not going to be able to run by all these enemies, uh, and you can think of them like the depth three, four, five Chalice Dungeons. So if you're familiar with how the difficulty scales there, you can just apply that to the DLC. So you can do the first area uh, relatively early-ish. I would say maybe level 75. 
And yeah, definitely the best dogs. <laughs> best dogs. Especially just, like, look at them. Dogfish. Fish dog. I think people are mentioning that if you go as soon as possible in the DLC, when you unlock it, NPCs will have less HP. I don't know what that really means. I would just suggest, because, you know, everyone, everyone, you know, you can enjoy the game however you see fit. So, just go to the DLC. If you find it too difficult, you can always just continue progressing with the game, and then come back to it. It doesn't need to be done in a linear fashion. Or you could accumulate a lot of consumable souls. And then just scale your level accordingly, based on how, you know, whether you think you're under level, just, uh, fire some levels into something else. No, stop it, please. Please. Good to know. Oh, I forgot about you again. Oh, Strife Cross, what you're saying is that the 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 HP of the NPC scales based on your level? Interesting. I completely missed him, and even when I knew he was there, I couldn't find him, but he's there. I'm 264 in level, but then again, I am not that great. Uh, well, yeah, and that just play whatever. Uh, there's nothing wrong with being high level. I found out you can get the lost and uncanny versions of the DLC weapon. I assume in the, the root chalices, right? Uh, King Roll asks, uh, are you in New Game Plus or New Game? Okay, I'm going backwards here. Let me see if there are any other strategies that can be used here. I'm assuming that that's a shortcut there. We're going to kick that ladder down at some point. Ah. Uh. I think Shaman Bone Blades. Well advised here. Uh, yes. You're remembering that correctly. Also in Dark Souls 2. The Pursuers had little eyes on them, though. Those, those are more skulls. New Game Plus 6. Well, yeah, so... At, at, even at 264, New Game Plus 6, you're gonna... DLC, I imagine, would kick everyone's ass. New game plus plus level 150 is pretty good. There's so many things that need to be tested. Dark version? Ah, interesting. Plus 6 is gonna be ridiculous. Oh, cool. Wow, it's the, like the amount of content in this DLC is ridiculous. <laughs> I think on New Game Plus and Beyond. Okay, that's fine. I just want to progress to the end for now, and then come back for the other stuff. Or, you know, like, go through the rest of the areas in greater detail later. Okay, Rogue Heart. Have a great night and take care. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, the all weapon. Wow. Oh no. You're going to try and pry my eyes out, aren't you? Not as good as the eye collector. But you got Moxie. This is the best DLC FromSoft's ever done. Like, hands down. There's really no arguing. And I liked the Dark Souls 1 and 2 DLC very much.
Okay. Yeah, the the land of the giants or whatever. Never even played Demon Souls. See, this is pretty much every same. I've never even played Demon Souls, but I can relate to that. I wanted to see the cut content come to fruition. Get out of here! Bad dog. Very bad dog fish. The one with the furry men. I hated the frigid outskirts of the fiery passion. Glad they put the NPCs there because they make good bait for the uh, reindeer. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Having a sorcery bar in Dark Souls 3. Having MP. Oh. I knew he was gonna be there, but I thought I could get the turn before he showed up. I'm thinking I'm going to try. Maybe I should try... Oh, wow. Okay, next time I'm just gonna run by. But they still have cast limits, right? Well, uh, I assume that they'll have, like, grass and stuff to restore your MP. Okay. Thank you, Richard. It's the turrets that, like... Me up. Hello, yes dog. I remember. But I thoroughly enjoy your Bloodborne lore videos. Well, I thoroughly enjoy the fact that you thoroughly enjoy them. As well as the fact that you watch them. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Like stressing about 24,000 echoes. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the shield. I'll try the shield. But yeah, welcome, yes dog. It's, it's very cool to have you here. And uh, thank you for the follow, by the way, yes dog. Welcome to the Rant King Covenant. Ash Estes, yeah. I was very disappointed I didn't get uh, Dark Souls 3 data code. MP regains with time. Interesting. With this DLC, like... Oh, I'm supposed to pop on the shield. This DLC adds so much to Bloodborne. Uh, not this one, apparently. I grabbed the souls again, and I had absolutely no reason to grab the souls. I grabbed the souls anyway. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, friend. That's pretty good, yeah, crushed by fish man. Well it was good against, it was good against the arcane attacks. <laughs> Until once again I grabbed the blood echoes on it YouTube. The sad part is that if I had just taken the whole area nice, slow, and steady... Although I guess I did, and I still got crushed by the fish man anyway. Nancy M, thank you for the follow. 
Welcome to the Rand King Covenant. Much appreciated. Oh, oh no, again, again. <sighs> I'm going to farm Blood Echo so that I can enjoy this DLC. Yep, it's this is the first real wall that I've hit. This gosh darn area. Maybe switch to a higher arcane resist. Damn, I don't know what I have though. The problem is, okay. Don't touch the souls. Do not bother with the souls or the echoes. Maybe that's why I was calling them souls. Yeah, really no chance to switch. Or I could I could switch up my runes actually. If I die here, I switch up the runes. Stop it! Stop! 